Loki Episode 4 has the new Marvel Cinematic Universe series first post credit scene, with two episodes to go in the first season. As such, it would be completely understandable if you missed it given there has been not a single scene during the credits for the first three Loki episodes. It's not a lengthy scene, although it's quite important as it reveals the state of its title character, the God of Mischief, Tom Hiddleston, who was involved in a major confrontation towards the end of Loki Episode 4. It also upends what we've known about yet another aspect of the Time Variance Authority. Spoilers ahead for Loki Episode 4, The Nexus Event. Loki Episode 4 mid credit scene The latest Loki episode ends in the Timekeeper's chamber as Loki, Hiddleston, and Sylvie, Sophia Di Martino, get the upper hand on Ravana Renslayer, Gugu Mabatha Ra, and her hunter squad. This takes place in the presence of the Timekeepers, who show no interest in putting an end to the petty fights going on in front of them. Why? That becomes clear after Sylvie throws her sword at one of the timekeepers and decapitates him in one go. After his head rolls off the steps and falls next to Loki, Sylvie picks it up and realizes that the timekeepers are just mindless androids. Loki Episode 4 Recap Chaos at the Time Variance Authority that means the real power at the TVA is somewhere else entirely. Sylvie is frustrated that her entire life, being captured by the TVA as a child, and then running from them and plotting their downfall, has come to this anticlimactic moment. Loki formulates their next possible steps, reflecting on Mobius, Owen Wilson. Reveal that the tiny connection between the Loki duo on LEMANTIS-1 caused a Nexus event unlike what he's seen before. But before he can confess his true feelings for Sylvie, Ravana gets up and obliterates him with the TVA glow stick. The Loki Episode 4 post credits scene reveals what happens after you're pruned by the TVA. Or at least, what happened to a god like Loki. Turns out he's not gone for good. In fact, he's arrived in a new hellscape. It's what even Loki wonders, is this hell? Calling hell by the name Asgardians use for it, before adding, am I dead? A response comes from someone off camera, who says, not yet, but you will be unless you come with us. Who's this us? Loki Episode 4 cuts to reveal what looks like three more locusts, one of them played by Richard E. Grant as heavily rumored. Boastful Loki, Kid Loki, and Classic Loki in Loki Episode 4 photo credit. Disney, Marvel Studios Grant's Loki is sporting the classic yellow and green Loki costume from the Marvel comics. He's even identified as Classic Loki in the Loki Episode 4 credits. The youngest of them all, Carrying what looks like a mini crocodile with Loki horns as an accessory, is credited as Kid Loki, Jack Veal.